Please, be all right. Please, don't... You make me sick, Edward. Your mother and father would be ashamed. Lissy! you <coughs> donc il y a de fortes chances que tout le chapitre 4 qui a précédé bah, ce soit juste un mauvais rêve parce que ça a été vraiment très bizarre d'ici euh, un coup je te vois un coup je te vois plus Et peut-être, peut-être, peut-être un problème de trouble de la personnalité chez notre protagoniste. Are you upstairs? Je vais voir si je suis en forme quand même. Ça va. to his wife. Did you notice the handwriting, Betty? He was clearly distraught. <laughs> knock, er, knock. Enough is enough. After decades of strife, I pray that God will... Tilly, forgive me. I am tired of secrets. For 20 years, I have kept my silence about our discovery, but my silence has only led to misfortune, and my cowardice has only led to death. I will make Frederick pay for what he has done to us, for what they have done to our Ruth. 
When it is over, I will let the ocean take me to you and Ruth. May God forgive me. And I was already dead when he wrote this. He had no one else to confess to. What now, Betty? Johann went to confront his brother, probably at Frederick's farm. And then? Ça sent, ça sent, ça sent l'histoire pas très très jolie, puisque apparemment la petite euh, a, a dû mourir. Euh, un des deux frangins a dû accuser l'autre. Ça s'est envenimé. Et, et à partir de ça, c'est bien parti en sucette, on dirait vraiment. You said this was a gift from another unlucky suitor. It was precious to you. You wouldn't have left it here unless a signpost, a breadcrumb. Et après, il peut y avoir des histoires de vengeance. Frederick Fretland's farm, and then to the mine. You wouldn't let this go, Betty. You'd follow your story to the end, all the way to the end. Il y a un petit truc qui est gênant dans le jeu, c'est la façon dont il se satisfait que ce soit pas Betty qui soit morte, alors qu'il tombe quand même sur pas mal de cadavres, et, et c'est jamais très enthousiasmant. Did you go to the mine, Betty? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Oui, mais il va falloir passer à la ferme pour trouver de quoi ouvrir le passage jusqu'à la mine, il me semble. On va y aller de ce pas. Frederick's farm. A gate. Frederick's warning. The path leads to his farm. Monsieur aime bien suivre les chemins, c'est pas un vrai montagnard. <rire> bon, on va prendre la route longue. All these fragments. You would piece them together into a story, wouldn't you, Betty? So, what do we know? Johann and Frederick are partners and on good terms. Something happens in the mine. Disagreements lead to a falling out. And at the end of it all, 20 years later, Johann walks this path to confront Frederick. Was this your doing, Johann? Did you burn your brother's farm to the ground? And where were you, Betty? Did you witness their fall? Betty?
faudrait de la lumière là les amis. Alors j'ai pas d'issue. C'est un peu annoying, mais pas des tombes. September 17th, 1923. Why bury Simon here, and not at the cemetery? His wife's grave is also here. Perhaps Frederick wanted nothing to do with the church, or with their god. I could really use your imagination, Betty. You'd figure this out in no time. L'entrée à la mine. L'entrée de la mine. Et, et, et je peux pas rentrer, bien entendu. Donc je dois avoir quelque chose à résoudre dans le coin. Sur sûr, c'est votre dernier mot. Et c'est son dernier mot. inspecter plus loin ah du bordelais bouillé en plus je suis pas vacciné contre le tétanos on va éviter alors que faire nicolas <rire> Are you here, Betty? Simon's birthday. Another Viking artifact, Betty. Most likely from the same treasure Ruth found. Postmarked in Boston. That's it. Curious coincidence. Dear Frederick, I hope this letter, it's in English, Betty. I hope this letter finds you and the boy in good health. We're concerned about you both. No word from you for almost two years now. All of us still heartbroken about Margaret's passing. We know things have been difficult for you and Simon. Mr. Fretland, we expect you to take care of this problem. If the discovery is made public, the authorities will intervene and the mine will be shut down. Should this happen, we will consider it a breach of our contract and we will withdraw our investment. You and your brother will be responsible for all debts and losses. Johan must be convinced to wall up the chamber. We've already dealt with the worker who made the discovery. The Fretland Mining Company. Eh ben, voilà la clé de mine. This must be for that locked shed. You Alors apparemment, <coughs> il y avait une grosse embrouille. Ça sent euh, l'accident de mine. Euh, ou un employé, ou éventuellement la petite, euh, s'est montré la gueule devant. 
So what happens next in your story? Johan and Frederick discover something in the mine. A cave or chamber of archaeological value. On a potentiel découverte dans la mine. Moi, je pense que c'est plutôt euh, la cata de l'accident. Et du coup, euh, les investisseurs ont, ont tendance à signaler que c'est le genre de truc qu'ils aiment pas trop euh, voir ces bruités. Et ça a commencé à semer la zinazanie euh, parmi les familles. Voilà. Ce serait bien. Il fait très sombre. <rire> Pas tout de suite. Cursed mine in Grovik. Locals struggle with bad crops and livestock deaths and blame it on. They thought they were cursed because of the mine. A thing like that becomes self-fulfilling. If you believe you're cursed, every misfortune feeds the delusion. Oh, de l'arsenic. stumbles across the secret in the mine. After all this time, the truth may finally come to light. But she dies. And the day after, Simon is murdered. It's a catalyst. Old grievances resurface. No matter who you stand with, you're a traitor. Things escalate. More people die. From disease, despair, suicides, murder. All because of the mine. Because of what they found there. And what they covered up. There was no one to stop it, Betty. We were alone. That's the real curse of Grovik. Isolation. This place is cursed. Ridiculous. Ruth was here the day she fell. Ruth was here, but there was someone else and... She ran all the way to the cliff where... You know what happened, Betty? Did you witness it? Hello? Betty, are you in there? Please answer me.
This is Mother's brooch. You always wore this. You wouldn't take it off unless... You left it here for a reason. What am I not seeing? C'est fini pour la mine. Edward! Edward! Betty? Elizabeth? Is that. Is that you? Edward? Where are you? I'm on my way, Betty. Wait for me. Elizabeth, there you are. Finally. <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been looking for you. You, you had me so worried. I, I, I. Look, your brooch. Mother's brooch. You, you must have lost it at the mine. Let me put it on for you, Betty. I wouldn't want you to lose it again. <sighs> She's been dead for 30 years, Edward. Elizabeth was never here. But we didn't come for her. We came for Johan, and Anna, and Frederick, and Simon, and... And Ruth. And Ruth. We're here to tell their stories. No. Elizabeth. She's here. I... You know Betty died when she was a baby. She drowned in the pond. And you found her. You were just 11. You carried her to your mother. And your mother... She hated you for that. She could never forgive you 
for bringing her baby to her. You could never forgive yourself for what she did after. You always forget this. Because you don't want to be alone. So you bring Betty back. Again. And again. To New York. To Boston. To the house. But always just out of reach. Never quite there. The scent of her. The echo of her. But never really her. And all it does is make you lonelier. But the thing is, Edward, you're never alone. You have us. And you'll always have us. Betty's... She was never there for you. She couldn't be. You can't lose us. We're a part of you. Forever. And ever. And ever. But you need to let Betty go now. There's not room for all of us in there. I couldn't save you, Elizabeth. I'm so sorry. It is as painful to wake from a vision as it is to be born anew. Bye, Betty. noodle juice yet? I might be weaned off the stuff. Boo. Don't lose your taste for tea, old fruit. It keeps you human. We have unfinished business. We do? The final piece of the puzzle. Ruth. Come on. Let's go back to where it started. We have an appointment with a ghost. Such an amazing view, isn't it? And the air. Ugh. Boy, that sure is something. Why did we come here, Teddy? To Grovik. Well. To find my sister. But Betty's not. She was never here. It doesn't make sense. Some places have gravity. What are you saying? Gravewick's gravity pulled us across the Atlantic Ocean? Grovy. No, I'm not saying that. That's irrational. But you believe it, don't you? That we were summoned to tell their story. The letter to Frederick. The one you found in his safe. From Boston. I may have overheard a conversation somewhere. Paid it no attention, but the name stuck. And Betty... 
and I spun a story around it that put us on this path. Do you really believe that? I mean, how often are you around people? I'm a man of science. I don't know what to believe. And yet, here we are. All three of us. Is this what you wanted to show me? I wanted to be close to it. Do you believe in ghosts, Edward? You know I don't. Well, you've been chasing one for years. That's different. What about me? Us? You're not ghosts. You're alive. Fair enough. So what really happened to Ruth? She was probably murdered. By Simon? It had to be Simon. Are you sure? Does it matter? They're both dead. It matters to me. So she ran from the mine. And she came here. And then someone pushed her? If only she had wings. Like a bluebird. She could have soared away on autumn winds. But why was she killed? Because she was playing where she shouldn't. The secret the Fretlands had kept for a generation. If people learn the truth, it might tear the community apart. So she was murdered, and the village was cursed. I hope she's at peace. And with God. Do you think that's where everyone's gone? They're dead. I don't believe there's anything more to it than that. But there's comfort in oblivion. And we won't be alone. We'll never know what happened to everyone in Grovik. We tried our best. We'll remember them. All of them. Maybe that will give them some peace in oblivion. Could this be your book, Edward? The one you've been wanting to write? A story about people who are isolated, left behind by the world. You can give them all a proper ending, with no annoying loose threads. Edward, is that... A boat? But how? Who cares? Let's catch it before it sets out on another adventure. I don't understand how this can be. Dragon got tired of sailing around in it and brought it back to us. It must have been the wind. Whatever helps you sleep at night, teddy bear. Let's blouse while the weather's still good. I need my suitcase. So get a wiggle on, old boy. I'm going to say my goodbyes to all the things. I don't think we'll be back. Meet you at the house. <laughs> My goodness. Ah, righty ho. No rush. We have all day. Le jeu reste très linéaire quand même. <coughs> Donc on a une sorte de d'interrogation écrite à la fin là. Euh, je pense que ça peut jouer sur le dénouement et euh, offrir une petite partie euh, alternative sur la fin. Probablement. J'avoue que j'ai pas super bien mené l'enquête, hein. mais euh, on va voir si on est réellement arrivé euh, au terme de l'aventure. Come on, Teddy, pack your things. I'll meet you by the boat. Do you never sit still? Don't be a wet blanket. Let's make like the wind and get out of here. Thank you. 
Let's go. Row, Teddy, row. Water's still cold. It's a fjord, Lissy. It's almost winter. There'll be snow when we get back to Hanover. The house will be warm. Are we going to be all right, Edward? I think so. la conclusion. Alors ça c'est douloureux la conclusion pour Drogen à mon avis. Ah, je peux me tromper, c'est mon avis perso. On a un jeu qui est très très joliment réalisé. C'est agréable, on est dépaysé, ça donne envie de s'y perdre un petit peu. Le souci étant là, perdre. On ne se perd pas dans ce jeu. On suit un fil conducteur qui est relativement évident. Et on aurait aimé en fait euh, bah, pouvoir s'égarer dans le village. Et euh, que l'aventure se sépare dans différentes branches de manière plus évidente. c'est fort dommage parce qu'il y a un gros boulot qui a été fait euh, il y a une histoire qui est narrée de manière tout à fait standard mais le principe d'avoir un binôme qui vous accompagne tout le long c'est plutôt bien trouvé et on aurait aimé avoir euh, vachement plus d'interactions avec ce binôme pour euh, changer le déroulement de l'histoire parce qu'on a l'impression que quoi qu'on fasse il va se dérouler uniquement ce qui est prévu dans la case suivante du parcours et ça c'est un petit peu moche cette linéarité on y revient donc si vous tombez sur le jeu à tout petit prix, euh, foncez, ça vous fera quelques heures de dépaysement, c'est pas très long. Hein. Je crois qu'on n'a pas passé le cap des 3 heures. Euh... Et si éventuellement cette équipe a l'idée de faire un autre jeu, pour ce style, bah, je lui souhaite de pouvoir amener euh, toute la diversité qu'on aimerait y trouver, pour pouvoir un petit peu se paumer dans l'aventure plutôt que de suivre un fil d'Ariane. En tout cas, j'espère que ça vous a mis un petit peu de frais dans la chaleur qui arrive et donné envie d'aller visiter nos cousins du Nord qui ont des endroits absolument extraordinaires. Mais qui, hélas, mangent des trucs dégueulasses. <rire> J'étais obligé de la caser, celle-là. Bien à toi, ma cousine. Et ce sera avec plaisir. Des bisous tout frais et les sans piternelles playlists ainsi que le bouton d'abonnement. A tout bientôt les amis.